Villa Hermosa, one of the most violent cities in Mexico, has begun a social campaign to prevent crime by painting colorful murals on buildings in order to lend the capital of the state of Tabasco an air of safety. These works of urban art, organized by the City of Colors Collective, are made up of themes which blend history, folklore, and tradition. Carelli Hernandez, a volunteer with the City of Colors Collective, comments that the main focus of the art is to provide grace, sensitivity, and hope to the most marginalized neighborhoods. We live and work here. We want to give something back to change the local image, she says. Si usamos el arte como un arma contra la violencia, podemos eh, sensibilizar a, a los niños. El artista Lalo Alcántara, que es el que pinta Corazón Gaviotero, trata de hacer eso, ¿no? de, de, de transmitir a través de su pintura que el corazón, a fin de cuentas, puede más que todo. According to figures from the National Institute of Statistics and Geography, 96.6% of the population in Villahermosa believes that they live in an insecure city. In the neighborhood of the Gaviotas, crime operates freely, but residents have some faith that the City of Colors program can begin to help. Andres Pedrero, a painter who saw his entire family be kidnapped and now helps the project as a guest artist, explains that it has been difficult to restore his confidence. Nosotros como familia hemos sufrido la experiencia del secuestro. Es una experiencia desgarradora que te crea desconfianza y, y es muy difícil superarlo. Eh, en este caso eh, creo que el arte, en, en mi caso, creo que el arte fue el que, el que me ha ayudado a, eh, para enfrentarlo. The first mural to be finished, of a total of 16, is a tribute to the prolific Mexican musician Chico Che. Others will refer to regional celebrations, local dishes, Tabasco flora and fauna, but all will carry an inclusive message of peace for residents, especially young people.